Hey y'all, and welcome back to, or welcome to, Getting Deep with Deep. I'm your host Deep, and today I'm gonna update you on the whole Hydra issue that I had and the no planaria that I used. As you can see right now, it's pretty clear, but let's get straight into it. Although, if you've had this experience before, or if you have any suggestions to how to avoid it, or you know, just wanna talk about it, do let me know in the comments below. Do leave a like and subscribe if you like this video, and so let's get into it. All right. So at first I had an outbreak of Hydra, I think due to overfeeding, right? Uh, as you can see in the videos that I'm showing that basically it grew over a few days. So what I did is I ordered some no planaria. You can order it off Amazon. Um, and the first thing I did was get rid of my Ramson snails or separate them, not get rid of them, but separate them into a separate container because it's known to kill your snails. All right. So I, I separated my Ramson snails and then eventually I, for a five gallon tank, they give you a spoon with the no planaria inside. So for a five gallon tank, I used about one third of the spoon that they provided uh, on the first day. Then I kept an eye on it and I could see that it's affecting the Hydra, right? Slowly but steadily, it is affecting the Hydra. So I waited the next day to see how much it has affected. And you know, a lot of them, they say in one day, usually with planaria, my bad, that uh, you can get rid of them in one day or so. But with my Hydra, they were all over the place. So I looked at it the next day and realized I probably need another, another dosing. So what I did is I added another one third spoon uh, of no planaria the second day. How I did it was basically added into a small cup or a shot glass or whatever you want to call it and uh, mix the aquarium water a bit of it with the powder and stirred it up and then added it in right and I tried to put it in different spots where I see in Hydra even though I do have some water flow in there but just to be safe right. So when it came to the next day on the second or third day, the third day, I started seeing a lot of difference, right? I saw quite a bit of them were almost done. They were pretty much gone. The glass was pretty much emptied out. There was still a few dying out. You could see them shrinking in and stuff. So I ended up um, adding a bit more on the third day. And this time I did it less than 130, when like just half of what I had been dosing. Uh, because on the thing, on the uh, no planaria, uh, <laughs> the front of it basically, what they do is that they tell you and give you the instructions, but with every tank it's different, right? So I ended up adding a bit more and waiting. So I think by the fourth day, it was pretty much clear, right? And also my Ram's Horn snails did not die. Uh, I did leave a few in there. I just, I couldn't get all of them out, to be honest. Rams on snails, especially when they start reproducing, it's hard, right? So I tried my best, but I couldn't remove all of them. But my snails were healthy. They were moving. Yes, it did affect a couple of snails, unfortunately. But the rest of them were healthy. Uh, I think on the fifth or sixth day, I ended up... Uh, changing the water i think six yeah by the six to seven day i changed the water to almost 50 percent and ever since i haven't really changed water because uh even on my filter on my sponge filter there was a lot of hydra there too so what i did is i removed the sponge filter cleaned it in the aquarium water that i removed uh cleaned up sponge and other stuff brushed off my glass uh even though there was nothing there was still algae so i just wanted to make sure i did all of that and to be honest, you can see the results. Everything is pretty clear. Uh, my fish are really healthy. Uh, they're coloring up. Finally, my chili rasboras are brightening up. They have really healthy colors. Keeping in mind that I have been also feeding frozen baby brine shrimp once every three days almost. So I have all of this present. I have powdered foods. I have flakes. I have um, fluval bug bites. And then every third day i end up feeding them frozen baby brine just like i did today but as you can see that everything's pretty clear you can see them chilling about hanging around pygmy cories are happy but so out of my chili rasboros i had eight of them uh i think on the fifth or sixth day i saw one was struggling to swim a bit the belly was a little swollen 
So I wasn't sure. I thought it's pregnant or like basically buried. Um, but turns out it wasn't because I don't I don't see it anymore. I can only count seven of my chili rasboras. And unfortunately, something, I don't know what exactly it is. Was it the no planaria or what? But my baby shrimp that were growing up uh seemed to have passed away. So I could see the second one, the bright blue one, for a few days, but until since two days. I honestly haven't been able to find it and uh, the thing with this is that if you have so many rams on snails the thing is they pick up on dead matter right so if your shrimp are dead they're gonna munch on them so that's what I did see happening on the first baby shrimp that died and ever since they have really reproduced quite a bit to be honest um, and I can see eggs here and there. And I assume it's not because I'm overfeeding because I am trying to feed as less as possible. But I think it's because of the be dead baby shrimp and stuff that they ate and reproduced, right? But as you can see, no planaria does work. It, it has done wonders for me. Um, I would suggest that if you have planaria or hydra, um, if you have Ramzon snails, don't really worry about removing them, but just to be safe, you can, if you have a lot of them, like I did, because, you know, you don't want your, uh, ammonia spiking and, you know, messing up the whole system, but everything was fine. There was no issues throughout. I kept an eye the whole time, no ammonia spikes, no, uh, damage to anything else, but I do assume it was the no plan area that affected the others, but as you can see, everything is safe, everything is good, and I'm happy, so... Yeah, thank you for watching and I hope this helped you. No planaria is a good uh, good non-chemical, I would say it's not very chemical. I think it's a dry extract of betel leaf uh, grounded down. So it's not too bad for your shrimp, for your fish and stuff. Plants are doing healthy as well. As you can see, they're really vibrant and doing good. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Hope it helped and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya. Bye.